Hey everybody, for those who are new here, I just want to say hello. My name is Brenda and I am more than happy to be your coach for living a healthier and more fit life with more joy. Today I am here to talk to you about a little tip I have. I, um, I have off today. I'm also a nanny, but I have off, so I have extra time on my hands. And when I went to go work out, I was looking at my schedule. With the programs that we have to offer, they always come with a schedule, a routine that tells you how many days you should be working out and which workout you should do on that particular day. Now, hear me loud and clear, okay? In my challenge groups, I take care of each one of you individually. Some of you would not be able to work out with your time schedule and your life six days a week, and that's okay. So what I usually do for that is we say, how many times a week can you work out? Is it just three? Okay, well then you're gonna do the Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday workout on whichever three days you can do that week. And then next week when you start up again, you're gonna do day four on the calendar. Just follow the order of which the programs are listed on the calendar that comes with it because it's, there's a science to it. I can't tell you about the science, but I know that they've put the science into it. And when you follow the program, it does work. But today, what I was thinking of is how even though they come with these really pretty schedules in them, I don't like to write on them. I used to, and I used to put stickers on, but I do them more than once sometimes. So then it would be kind of hard and confusing to know how to stay on track. So even if you're not doing one of my programs, maybe you just have a schedule for your running or the days you go to the gym, please tell me you have a schedule. One thing, that's an important thing. You need to write down which days you're working out and what workouts you have planned on those days so you can stick to it. Always schedule it in as it's an important event because it is. You are important and you need to schedule that time for you, okay? But I printed out my 30-day calendar for the program I'm doing now. And I wanted to show you, if you can see it, this is what I woke up to this morning when I took a look at it. As you can see, there was one day last week where I didn't do the bonus workout, and there was one day this week where I chose not to do the aerobic workout, but I did the bonus workout. So today, even though I should be doing this one right here, because I have time off, I was like, you know what, I can actually... Oops, sorry about that. I can actually make up for some of the things I missed. I am being consistent with working out six days a week. I'm just not quite following the days like I showed you. Like I didn't do the dance conditioning on one day as the bonus, and I did the dance conditioning, but not the trail ride on the other day. So today, I just finished trail ride. So I'm gonna mark that off so I know that I did do that. And next, I'm gonna do dance conditioning because I have the time to make it up. And then my plan is either tomorrow or Saturday because I know I have more time again to double up. But if you don't have something like this printed out, it can be really easy to just be like, oh, forget about it. So I missed a workout, no big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world if you miss a workout, but if you have goals and you're trying to get results, you want to stick with your program. So when you have the extra time, if you can go back and do something you missed, you should do it. It's also just good to be able to get up in the morning and say, all right, it's giddy up time. Know which program, which DVD you're supposed to be push and play on. So that's just my little tips for right now, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.